Why is barbecue food very dangerous to Haiti? The only dialogue that Gary Cornell should have with uh, barbecue is in the sort of how can I catch you and how many, <laughs> <laughs> how many years are you going to serve in jail? Yeah. Because that is the only way you're going to make sure that you punish criminality in the country. For the history of Haiti, you'll realize that uh, it has been something that has been happening time and time again that uh, you'll have gang leaders who will say that we are ready to lay down our arms and come into um, uh, dialogue with the, with the current regime. But who are you going to dialogue with? You are dialoguing with a person who has killed more than 100 people, killed 71 people in a massacre, uh, kidnapped people. This is not a person that you can sit down and say that you want a dialogue with. The world is ready to fight these guns. Mm. Yeah? So once the MSS forces touched down in Haiti, Gary Cornell was empowered, you know. The police officers in Haiti were empowered. And now he is the one who can call the shots. While we know that the gangs still have power, they have weapons, they, they have the will to fight, but it, it came as a checkmate that actually this can happen. So that is why you find that barbecue is coming out to say that, yeah, we've seen what is happening and uh, perhaps we can uh, decide to dialogue and see if uh, we don't maybe need bloodshed. Who is Gary Cornell? Gary Cornell is a person who has taken a very, very um, difficult job right now in the Western Hemisphere among all the leaders, the political leaders right there. Gary Cornell is the Prime Minister, current Prime Minister of Haiti, who has been appointed by the uh, Presidential uh, Council. Gary Cornell uh, is a gynecologist, practiced gynecologist, who has been the Latin America Regional uh, Director for UNICEF. He has been out of Haiti for quite some time, uh, decades, because he has been a technocrat, basically. He has also been uh, a Prime Minister in Haiti for, quite some, for four months. Then they got into an altercation with the, current, the then president, and then he decided to resign and left the office for someone else because he did not want to be implicated in corruption. So Gary Cornell has been accepted by Haitians, has also been accepted by gang leaders. Barbecue came out and said Gary Cornell uh, is a good person, is, the, is a person who would steer Haiti to greatness. If at all, he would, quote unquote, come to dialogue with, with the, the gangs and the gang leadership there. Well, Gary Cornell is in a position right now to change Haiti. And of course, everyone loves him. And someone opined that it is, uh, he is because he's first coming into a job and everyone says, ah, this guy is good, this guy is good. But as time goes on, I'm sure Gary Cornell is going to create enemies. Whether he's going to create enemies in the country, outside the country, the MSS forces, it is subject to how he's going to conduct everything. So far, so good. Gary Cornell is leaning very much with the MSS forces and the Haitian police. By the way, the first thing that Gary Cornell did when he went to Haiti, when he became prime minister, is to meet the, the widows of police, slain police officers in a show of unity with the, uh, the then or the current uh, people who have been affected by the gangs. Gary Cornell has won the hearts of many Haitians and I've support the Haitians are supporting Gary Cornell to be a person who will change them, who will change the country, who will change the, the history of this nation. He has also been uh, allowed by President Biden, he has been allowed by the US uh, leadership to be a person who will effect change in, in Haiti. Well this person is not a politician per se. Gary Cornell is sort of a policy maker. He's a person who will sit in offices and make sure that we have uh, good policies that will run in Haiti. He's the person at the helm of the job right now. And by the way, when he was going to, to the U.S. the other day, he, he didn't even waste time to start asking the presidential council that he wants to go to the U.S. and do this and this. He texted them in the middle of the night and say that I am going to, to the U.S. to do this and this. So he's a person who seems to be focused. When he was, to, when he was asked, why are you taking this job? He, he, he answered that, if not me, then who else? If not now, then when? So this is a person who is dedicated 
to make sure that Haiti gets back on his feet. And so far, Barbecue has asked to have a dialogue with him. Of course, as the saying goes, you don't negotiate with terrorists. But then, uh, some people are saying that as, at some point in time you really have to relax, but at the same time you have to also to consider the kind of precedence that you will be setting when you negotiate with a person like Barbecue. So Gary Cornell is at the cusp of history in Haiti to make sure that Haiti prospers, to make sure that Haiti is looked as a different country right now and uh, years to come. And that is Gary Cornell.